Yale University Library, happy to see you all here. Uh, I think my uh, presentation goes really well with what Maria just, just said. It's, it's mainly about um, today's researchers have, have uh, uh, plenty of services available for them. They have the uh, archive X, the preprint server, and then they have the research gate and what's not. And then I, get, I suppose the question is, like that, uh, what, what I would like to ask and pose, that what is the added value for the researcher who uses archive X and ResearchGate to put their works also in the new institutional repository. Now is that, I think that's a relevant question. I think there is the push from the funders, which is of, of, of really needed. And, and, and I realize I'm, I'm, I'm the only thing standing between you and lunch, but, but we'll, we'll, uh, we'll proceed, proceed quickly. So, uh, so yes, what is the, uh, added value of, 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 of that, and, and should, it be, should it be communicated? Well, uh, let's, let's, take a, uh, let's take an example. Let's go to uh, uh, Stockman Sulutpäivät. And they have a new practice there, that everyone who goes there uh, needs to buy Iltalehti for two years, and then they have to, you know, then they can purchase what, whatever they want, right? That, that's, that's the same kind of practice. And, and I would walk into Stockman, I would be like, okay, uh, 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 I, I like Stockman at all, but, but I read Helsingin Sanomat, or my friends read Helsingin Sanomat, and, and, I, I, and if I don't get Helsingin Sanomat, I would read Aamulehti. So why do I have to, why are they forcing me to buy, buy Iltalehti as well? And, um, and I, I suppose that, uh, I suppose that, uh, um, Yes. So, little did I know, I, I, I might get, I personally might get a bit, you know, annoyed of, of, of the fact that I, it's, it's all right, you know, I, I could buy Ilta Lehti, it would be good for me, it, it doesn't cost me much, but, but still I would be kind of like, next time I see Ilta Lehti and Stockman, I would be kind of like, well, uh, I don't know, like, you, you, get, you get what I'm saying, but little did I know, uh, uh, maybe Ilta Lehti has the Finnish hockey player special that I really, really want to read, like 15 pages of interviews of, of hockey players or something, that I, I gotta have that. But, but, but still, so then the question kind of is that what is the institutional repository's uh, playoff hockey special? That would make a great, great PowerPoint, by the way, if you think of it. But, yeah, but seriously, yeah. Uh, so what, uh, uh, with archive, archive acts. People say, don't, don't create a competitor for archive X. Well, that's not really what we are doing because of the preprint, archive X is a preprint server and within institutional repositories, you can upload maybe the final published version of it. So currently, Aalto, the people that submit works to AltoDoc, the whole largest volumes come from the researchers that also actively use archive X. So within the case of Archive X and Autodoc, people go home with both Helsingin Sanomat and Ilda Lehti and are perfectly, perfectly happy about that. So I'll, I'll explain it, I'll show you some data, I'll explain why, why that is and, uh, and so forth. And, and with ResearchScape, we have to kind of maybe a bit elaborate it more, what, what is the added value, but, but it, it, it certainly is there. And, and so, so to speak, yeah. So, um, Let's, uh, let's uh, move on. Um, so, the first thing that is of course, is of course crucial is the, uh, uh, can I get this? Uh, is, this is what always kind of oh, is of interest, the citations, the Web of Science citations, right? That is, that is of interest here. And, 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 and what, what is interesting about the study, this is Web of Science citations, it's nearly twice the amount of citations, Web of Science citations, and after, after six years, the, it's nearly the twice amount of, of, of citations for your, for your works. Now that's a quite long time in the realm of digital services, right? Six to seven years, somewhat long time. So, so that, 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 is, that is of, 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 of importance. And now, when we look at the publisher policies that, that were mentioned, a few times ago, uh, within the institutional repository. So what we've done here, we combine data from with the uh, uh, researcher IDs of all the professors, and then the Serpa Romeo data. It kind of looks like this. Um, 
you, the, the greenest, greenest one here is, is the, the one you could archive as the final published version of the work. So that's a pretty high percentage for, for a professor in, in field of physics. And that is, if we comply with the embargoes, that is free, free, uh, free openness. Then the uh, accepted, accepted manuscript version is, is, is uh, this is mostly in the field of physics that you can, you can do this. Uh, by the way, that, that explains the archive matter, right? When, when, when you have fields that uh, use archive a lot, then, then usually this, this percentage is, is, is higher. But you can very well see that, that even though these professors, this is from the field of, of, of brain sciences, they have a great amount of publications. You could, uh, for, for free, you could archive maybe over 80% of the works in the institutional repository. And then when you take a look at this, and then you look at this, then you see the, then you see kind of the potential. And now where this differs from ResearchGate is that, that this, these things does not, do not apply to commercial ePrint services. So we could, uh, these are mostly AIP, APS publishers uh, submitting your final published work to ResearchGate. Uh, uh -uh, no, no. Not, not from the viewpoint of, of the publisher. And, and these are, in the case of this professor, these are uh, publications uh, of some of from American Chemical Society. Now, putting American Chemical Society manuscripts to research case is also a, a no no. So, all this, all this would happen with the, with the terms of, of, uh, of, of the, uh, of the uh, publishers. And here we have from the, uh, this is MIT Press. MIT Press final published works in the research case. Uh, no, no. Uh, Elsevier, Elsevier manuscripts could be put into the institutional repository research case. No. So all, all these apply only to institutional repositories. This is quite fascinating, actually, to look through the, the, the and these are Web of Science publications, so we know that these are the, the highest UFO class of, 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 of this. And, and just to illustrate the point that there's, we, we did it with professors from all, all schools of Aalto. So with cool School of Chemical Technology, again, American Chemical Society papers, uh, no way in the research case by, by, by the publisher. And then uh, electrical engineering, IEEE manuscripts, you can have them from the uh, Manuscript Central. Very easy thing to do. You could create a lot of openness via the institutional repository of, 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 of. So one point may be uh, that I'm not, the thing that the thing I'm trying to point out uh, is that archive acts, institutional repositories and researchers are all great tools for the researcher, but they do kind of different things. They do different things and, and what, is, what, is, what is important in the case of institutional repository is that this is actually allowed for you to share your works through and this will lead into different things also as, as uh, or you could suppose that they lead into different things as well. But you can see that uh, there is, a, there is a, uh, a great potential in, 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 in opening works from the institutional repository. Now, furthermore, if we take a, like everyone is interested in the citations, right? But we could take a, a larger picture to it as well. So. Um, so let's let's think about uh, 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 Finnish maybe maybe uh, pro more broadly like the Finnish society as a whole. Uh, so if we are aiming to, for example, provide open open knowledge for the Finnish citizens, the Finnish voters, so forth, uh, can we do it sustainably by relying only on, for example, ResearchGate? Perhaps, perhaps not. And, and, and what, what kind of things does this, uh, uh, what, what will it lead into? Like for example, let's say that the social media has, has different phenomenon going on. Would it be a good thing if the Finnish nation would have an open access? We can, uh, having open access doesn't mean you can do anything with the, as, as Maria points out there, are different spectrums of of openness, it doesn't mean that you can do anything with it, but the, uh, at least the uh, papers would be available. Then it comes to also open learning. There's the people that are very interested in open learning in Alto. How do we do massive open online courses uh, 
the, the first thing that people come tell me that how do I make uh, library licensed material work within universities? Now even that is difficult. How difficult is to open licensed material to people who do not actually have or, or are not students or, or faculty of university? I guess that's the thing of open learning that it would be open for, for everybody, right? So, so how do you do this? How do you support these movements without having the control on the openness? of the works is the question. And, and, and again, now we kind of get to the part that, that when the researcher goes to Stockman, or maybe, I don't know, where, maybe they, they go to somewhere else but Stockman, but they could still you know, I, got my, I get my Helsingin Sanomat, I get my Aamulehti, and I, I, and I get the Ilta Sanomat, because Ilta Sanomat actually has something that has a all, all value and, and, and such, such, such for it. And, uh, and so, I personally like to speak of, of, of uh, what was it, you know, what is the, uh, what is the added value? Because if I started talking about uh, selling the institutional repository, then people were like, oh dear God, now the librarian is telling, how to, <laughs> telling us how to sell things. Okay, that was, uh, no, 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 I found, found that funny. Okay, well, mm, but, we'll scratch that. Well, nevertheless, so here you go. That, that was the argument that all of these are, are good and produce, uh, produce value. So, and the best thing of, of it, that with, with the new Chris, it's, it's that simple. It's that easy to do. It's that easy to get the Ilda uh, You get the, we import the metadata from Scopus and Web of Science, and then all, you, all the thing you have, the researcher would need to do is just go there and upload the, upload the accepted manuscript, and then the library will Take care of taking care of the, the policies and whether it gets uh, gets an embargo or or or, or not. So to summarize, I, I think there is I think I think it is this essential to have the push of the funders and the university policies. But there's also it's not a bad idea to think about the pool as well, like how to how to sell it, how to align it with archive X. And research gate, because that, that's 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 what what the researchers are offered. I, uh, I. Do you have any questions? Did this make any sense? What I was trying to say. Somewhat sense. No one's. Okay. Any questions? Yeah. From the audience. Maria. Okay. Yeah, it, it makes a lot of sense because, like I was saying, uh, often the publishers, they usually don't allow uh, commercial uh, parallel publishing. So if you want to put it in a green repository, it has to be a non-commercial. And all these research grade, all their commercial companies, yes. and, and you can't use them. So the university institutional repository is, as you said, that that is the way to to promote the green open access and those uh, thank you very much for those uh, figures mm -hmm. I, I have not I had not seen them before they're very interesting <laughs> very very interesting yeah and if I may comment still it makes a lot of sense for funders if they're paying for the openness then then they should probably direct the openness that the university can can, 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 can control them instead of like a German, German company yes please yeah also as a common from Yvaskula where we have this GAX uh, uh, repository that has almost every new publishing as you showed, they can be stored there. But we are at the moment considering using that same repos repository as interface for also research material. So when people find the article, they find instantly the material or the data if it's open. And this way, it booms in citations because if you use the data, you automatically cite other publications made from it, and vice versa. If you f find the publication, you find the data, and that can be controlled by the university when it's in the university repository. Yes, that was a very good point. It's of very importance to link the, the publications and the data, and 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 and, and as there was discussion here, that the, the the metadata practices in Aldo are are still in, in development, so that's a very good point. That's, a, that's an important aspect to consider.
for us as well.